everyone and welcome to my studio we're just going to do some simple pours today the whole point of today's video is to try out my new tripod arm so let's get down I'm going to show you the new tripod arm I'm going to show you what we're going to do today we're going to have some fun I'm going to move that camera around because I got something mobile now hold on a minute Okay, as you can see, you're at a different angle now. now. This is what I bought. It is by Lentok. It is an overhead tripod. It gives you an arm, a ball joint, and a phone clip. So you can put your webcam on it, you can put your phone on it, you can put a regular camera on it. And the fun part about it is this articulating arm, which allows me to move you closer or further away, or swing you side to side, however I want. I can also change the angle that you're watching the pour so you can get up close and personal. So we're going to give that a try. We're going to move you around a little bit while we're working today, just so I can see if it works. So I am working with, as you can see, a whole mess of leftovers. Not sure if I'm going to use them all. Maybe, maybe not. I have a batch of these cute, wootsy little, I think they're like one and a half or two inch square and they got a little magnet on the back which I've taped so they're making little you know refrigerator magnets paintings and then I've also got some inexpensive Dollar Tree crafter square four by six little canvases we're gonna play with like I said my main thing is to get to know how to use my new tripod to move you guys around and we'll see what we can do with this so I'm just gonna try some dips so I've got a piece of um, wax paper down over top of the mat just to make clean up a little easier. And we're just gonna take some colors. I know this is some um, Van Dyke Brown. We're just gonna drizzle some colors down here. Move you down a little better. Look how easy that is. I can just sway you down. You can get a little bit closer look. We're just gonna drizzle a little of this color, a little of that color. All right, that's enough to get us going here. We're gonna start with the magnet. So all you do to do a dip is you got your paint down, you're gonna pick a spot that looks fun. You're gonna smush, twist, yank, and there you go. Ooh, look at that. Now if you have any blank spots, you can just sort of flop in there. And then for your sides, you can just Smush each side in. Alright, we're gonna set that one aside. We'll grab another one.
All right, last one. Yeah, we're gonna try changing your camera angle first because that's the whole point of this. So we're gonna turn you and lift so that you're looking at it from sort of sideways. We'll see how that works. Not sure how the lighting is for that. That we're gonna smush and turn and lift. Let's bring you back up now. Okay, there's a big blank spot in the middle of this one. But other than that, I like it. Pretty cool. All right, let me lower you down a little bit more. And again, we gotta get those sides. All right, gotta throw that over there. Oh, think about this. All right, now I think what I wanna do is get rid of this mass, or reload this mass. Um, let me scrape this a bit, hold on. Now, I'll be a little more picky this time about the color. So I think we're going to start with the red. Going to be a little better at smushing here. So we're going to take our canvas, we're going to place it down in, and we're going to press get my hand down in there and really press it. So you know it's pressed all the way around. And then we're going to twist it and pull it up. Wow. Okay, not bad, but not perfect. I almost want to try that one more time. Because see the edges here are a little bit off. So let's maybe see if I can push that again and twist. And lift a second time. Oh, much better. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. See, instant wet results with the camera so close. All right. Let me get my edges a bit. That worked out much better. Less colors. I really liked that combo. So I think we are going to do that some more. Okay, and we're going to take another one of these little canvases and press, give it a nice pressing inside there, all around, and then we're going to twist and flip. Whoa. Okay, this corner is sort of bearish. So we're gonna double dip again. So we're gonna start going this way. 
twist, and flip. Okay, a little better. Still a bit bare on the edge here. Better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Up. Put that down and fix up a few things real quick. All right, I'm going to clean up my hands just a little bit. I'm going to torch these guys and I will zoom you in because I don't even take you off to zoom you in. Let me just get these gloves off. Nice thing about this is I can just scrape that paint up when I'm ready. So let's go for a quick, and we'll see how well this does at the flyover. Wait, let me torch these real quick. Then we'll fly over. So we're gonna dry the flyover. I'm just gonna change your angle a little bit here. Hold on. Uh, Mr. Ball joints. Saying no, I can't go that direction. Okay. So there's the first one. Alright, there's the first one. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. I'm coming over here. There's this one. Look at that little shadow doing it this way, but I'm just testing that to see whether I can do it this way. All right. Pretty cool. I like how I can move this. All right. That looks pretty fun. I'm liking this new arm. You have to let me know in the comments what you think. Hi all. So, uh, on closer inspection, I decided that I didn't like some of these and I dropped that guy. So we're going to redo the magnets because I'm noticing there's a lot of sort of bald spots on them. So we're going to redo them. Hold on, I'm just getting in a better position here. Now we're going to throw some paint down. We're going to change up our color palette just a wee bit because I used up some of those other colors. with the colors that are already on them as sort of a base coat. And we're going to redip. So here we go. Number one. Smush. Twist. Roll up. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty cool.
Oh, so much nicer. Okay, now I'm happy. Didn't like settling. They were just too thinly painted before. Sometimes you just gotta change your mind and decide to redo. All right. Give me a second and I'll give you some wet results here. And of course, we still have these guys up here, which we did the first time. We can't really see that guy unless I turn the angle. There he is. There he is over here. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Wait for dry results. I'm not going to redo them again. Okay, we've got some dry results, or mainly dry. I think two of these, these two each have a one little wet spot. Look at how cute these are. And the pearl white, I don't know if you can tell, but that pearl white is so shiny. That was the first one. Well, I'm not sure which one was first and which was second. So that moved around a bit. So that was the two and our little magnet. And the second dipping, which came out so much nicer. Fourth one, and then I did do one more off camera in the leftovers from the magnets, and look at that one. So pretty. Okay, that was a lot of fun, and I got to test out my new swing arm really well. I love this thing. Here, let me pull it over here so you can see it. So there's the mount, and the arm goes over and down. So I can move it around wherever I need it to be over top of the table. All right. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the new swing arm. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. I'd really appreciate that as it really helps me out and costs you nothing. And hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos. Have a wonderful day, everyone.